should people avoid Black Lives Matter protests over the weekend, given the advice of state, that well, the pleas of state medical officers? And if they do attend those uh, protests, should mm. they face the same social distancing fines that anyone else would? Well, look, thank you for the question. I've spoken to um, uh, Premier Andrews and Premier Berejiklian this morning. Uh, the police authorities in both states have made decisions, operational decisions, on public order grounds. And uh, I, I understand the decisions that they've taken. It's not for me to comment on, on operational decisions of police forces. And they're the, they're the decisions that they have made. But let me be clear, as I believe Premiers have also, that um, while those public order decisions have been made, that's not an invitation or a licence for this. Um, in those in those broader, I think, social responsibility terms, um, our message is very clear: that the health risks of gathering in such large numbers and the risks of people coming into close proximity are real. And Australians have worked incredibly hard in recent months, and have undergone great sacrifices to protect the health of health of the most vulnerable, and that has included our Indigenous communities. One of our greatest fears at the start of this COVID crisis, premiers, myself, our cabinet at a, at, a, at a federal level, has been our concern for the potential impact on Indigenous communities of COVID-19. And not just remote communities, but metropolitan communities as well. And so it is important for people to have their right to protest. I said at the outset of this crisis that we had to deal with this crisis consistent with our our values and who we, who we were as Australians and those liberties, and that is true. But with those liberties come great responsibility, I think, for individuals. And so for all of those Australians who couldn't attend the funeral of a family member or couldn't see a loved one in a nursing home or a veteran who couldn't remember their fallen colleagues by attending a war memorial service on Anzac Day, I think all Australians owe all those other Australians a great duty of responsibility. And I say to them, don't go. Not because you shouldn't express your view. Find another way to express your view. We all found a way on Anzac Day to thank those who gave us our liberty and not gather in large numbers. And we stood on the end of our driveways and we held up a light on that dawn in our windows or in our balconies and we found a way to celebrate those who gave us our liberty. Let's not misuse that liberty. Let's respect it. Let's respect other Australians. And let's say to those who had the absolute agony of not being able to say goodbye to a loved one, let's thank them by showing responsibility this weekend. The health advice is very clear that it's not a good idea to go. And I've asked the AHPPC today to consider this matter, and the Chief Medical Officer will be standing up later today and advising you of the AHPPC's, the Medical Expert Panel's advice to Australians about gathering these numbers. So this isn't about issues regarding people's ability to express themselves and engage in protest activity. We all respect that. But let's respect those other Australians who have gone through such hardship. Let's respect them. Let's find a better way and another way to express these sentiments rather than putting your own health at risk, the health of others at risk, the great gains that we've been able to make as a country in recent months, and let's not forget the terrible economic consequences of that as well. Let's not put that at risk. Let's exercise our liberties responsibly this weekend. I encourage people not to attend for those reasons and those reasons only.